Hello guys, this is Terry from Genki Gaming, and we're back with another One Piece Theory. First, I would like to thank Lucas Diamond for this awesome track, Stand to Fall. If you guys enjoy the music, go subscribe to his channel. But without further ado, we are talking about Big Mom, Perispero, in the Candy Sea Slug, and the possibility of it dissolving. Yes, we've all thought about the possibility of Big Mom falling into the sea. Even with a homie made essentially out of a wave created by the sea slug. But how... How is the sea slug actually lasting being on the ocean? Like, how is it not being dissolved? And more or less, it all depends upon the amount of candy the sea slug is actually made up of. The less candy used, the faster it will dissolve in water. And there's also some surface area applied to the candy by the fact that Paris Barrel and Big Mom are on top of it. That surface area pressure is creating pressure down upon the candy sea slug. But if the candy sea slug is made of more or less sugar cubes or solid sugar and made thus of granular sugar it would have a stronger likelihood of not dissolving but if it's made more of a granulated sugar it has a higher likelihood of being dissolved upon contact with the liquid in this situation the salt water of the sea I know that the sea around the Totlands is pretty strange having rivers of juice flowing into it that the sea isn't exactly built of a particular uh, compound in and of itself but there has to be a certain amount of salt water mixed in with it so for this theory we're believing that the sea slug is going to basically be dissolved due to something and in a situation where, let's just say, the heat of the boiling sea, well, we're more or less using that as an example, even though that's a little bit before the top end, and isn't exactly at Cow Island or anything like that, but heat and pressure at the same time applied to the salt water would cause the solution or the candy slug to dissolve or shrink at a faster rate. So let's just say that Jinbei's Sun Pirates are still there and Jinbei and the Sun Pirates start to shoot water shots or start to use Fishman Karate against the giant sea slug. Since a lot of moves involved in Fishman Karate are water based, the chances are that the Fishman would be able to dissolve the candy slug even with Perospero constantly pushing candy into it because at the same time if a water shot was to hit Perospero and knock him away from the candy slug or at least a little bit off to the side he would fall into the water and at that particular time would his double fruit power <laughs> cause him to sink and not be able to swim or would he be able to use his candy ability to stay attached to the sea slug because chances are an attack with enough force would be able to knock him off of the sea slug knocking him into the sea which would essentially cause the sea slug itself to dissolve at the same situation same exact time but with that truly in mind and with all other valuables out of the way the chance of the sea slug being dissolved before them reaching cacao island is relatively low unless there was attack an attack from the fishmen well from the sun pirates and jimbe on the sea slug but the likelihood of that is really low right now due to the fact that Big Mom, Perospero, the Wave Homie plus Napoleon that's a pretty strong fighting force even though two of them are homies and one is a candy sea slug but Perospero has showed that he kind of low diffed both Chopper and Brook 
but Brooke can essentially hard counter Napoleon and the wave homie can be essentially hard countered also by Brooke to a certain degree. But with Big Mom in Rage Mode, there's really no perchance of the Straw Hats truly being able to fight back on their own without Luffy, without Sanji, without the assistance of someone. Even with the Gal Cannon of the Sunny, I really don't see them being able to do much concerning fighting Big Mom at sea at this point because of the Elbeth Spear attack. Because as long as she has the ability to launch those attacks, they launch like a projectile. And if they happen to hit the Sunny, we've not really seen them truly hit a ship yet. But chances are they would cause a huge hole in the ship, or a hole big enough that it would cause the ship to take water. But that's truly been it regarding this particular theory slash discussion. It's more or less regarding the possibility of the sea slug sinking and what variables can truly be applied upon it. I want to thank you guys for watching. I've been Terry with Genki Gaming, and I am out.